Okay, we're gonna do a very quick video to show you how to um, buckle the chest cut behind your back when you're wearing your baby on your front in a soft structured carrier. Um, this one is a Tula, you can do this with any um, soft structured carrier that you would not cross the straps behind you. Um, so an Ergo or a Kinder Pack if you're not crossing your straps, um, this trick will work for all of them. So I'm gonna start by buckling the waist on where I would normally wear it. And then I'm going to go ahead and let the straps out and make them looser here. So I'm going to lift this little plastic piece that holds the webbing to make it easier to slide the webbing out and make those straps nice and loose. And now I'm going to get the baby if he'll come over here because he's climbing. Let me see. Come here, Jimsy. Up, up. Okay. So this baby is just over a year old. Just say hi. So I'm going to go ahead and put him on my front just like I would and I'm going to pull the shoulder straps up and pull the soft structured carrier over his body. Try to make sure he's settled in pretty deeply. Now you can see with this straps let out I can't let go of him because if I did these are going to slip right off my shoulder so I have to keep a hand on the baby. But what this does by letting the straps loose is that my chest clip which I already had adjusted to the height um, and the width that I find the most comfortable I can now reach it because the chest clip with the loose shoulder straps it's really easy to pull right up behind my head. So once I'm sure I have him in there, I make sure I grab both shoulder straps. I'm gonna kind of follow them around and find the chest clip, which is now high enough where I can pull it high enough where I can reach it. Then I keep a hand on him here because we're still pretty loose. When I reach around to the sides and I'm gonna pull towards me to tighten these shoulder straps, I'm gonna find the webbing and pull towards me. So what happens is as I tighten these shoulder straps and kind of lift it up, that chest clip drops right back down to where I'd like it to be. Um, so my suggestion is, unless you're switching between front and back carries a lot or between wearers, if you can leave your chest clip where you find most comfortable, maybe have somebody stand behind you and help you adjust it, and then leave it where it is, and then you can use this trip to get it on and off. So if I can't reach it now, like let's say it's hard for me to reach up and unbuckle it, I'm gonna unbuckle it the same way. I'm gonna lift the webbing, on this or lift the plastic clip on the side to let out the webbing and again on this side and again I'm keeping a hand on the baby because the looser things are the less secure it is and now I can easily grab this chest clip which is right behind my neck and I can undo it with one hand even if I have to and take the baby out so that is the fastest and easiest way to get the chest clip um, buckled and unbuckled yourself